Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking at another cordless vacuum cleaner and at a brand I haven't featured for a while. This is a Bosch Unlimited Series 6 Pro Animal and this is actually made in Germany. So many vacuum cleaners are made in China, especially cordless ones. But this one, emblazoned on the box, says made in Germany. So this will need charging up before I can demonstrate it. So I'm going to open it, show you what's inside, put the battery on charge and I'll come back and do some demos with it. So let's have a look. First out of the box is the main floor head. It says Pro Animal Brush on it. And uh, it's quite a dense brush roll. It's a bit hard to see the brushes, black against black. Fairly soft though. And we don't get full width brushing. There's quite a big gap here. That could be where the belt is, I expect. The brush roll comes out. You need it to be easy to remove. I think there are later versions now that have brush rolls that help clean themselves. That seems to be the trend now in vacuum cleaners. Anti-hair app or hair clean brushes because a lot of people get trouble with brush rolls. Human and animal hair can get wrapped around it. So you either want a system that's designed to remove the hair before it gets really bad, or a brush roll you can easily slide out without tools and give it a clean yourself. Normally brush rolls will have a groove in them where you can either pass a knife or a pair of scissors to cut off all the hair. Right, so that's that. So at least this comes out easily. Pop it back in, there we go. So that's the main carpet and floor nozzle. This looks like it's the wall bracket that you can secure to the wall to charge the machine. Obviously you don't have to put it on the wall if you don't want to. Here we have another brush, a spare. This time with red brushes, it feels about the same as the black one. I think this is supposed to be a pro animal brush. It's nice to have a spare one. Then we've got the wand. And under the wand, a very, very long crevice tool. That's handy. Long and very flexible. So you could use that to reach under appliances, such as your fridge freezer in your kitchen or in between appliances. Use it in your car, use it down the side of your upholstered furniture for the biscuit crumbs. So that's, that's very good. What else? Aha, is that a spare filter? I'm not sure, I think it is. That's a, that's a good thing to have. Oh, it's not a spare filter. Well, it might have a spare filter. No, we get another brush. This must be for the smaller motorized head. Being a pro animal, it's got both. Let's just take the cleaner out itself. Quick flash of the cleaner. We'll look at that closer in a moment. This is the mini motorized head. So it looks like the full size motorized head and the mini motorized head both have spare brushes. They're very, very soft on this one. You've got a velour strip to help pick up clinging litter as well as the rotating brush. So Bosch Pro Animal brush there. We should have a charger in here. Indeed we do. Well, we've got the battery. This is a 2.5 amp, 18 volt Bosch battery. We have another small nozzle. This one's a combined sort of upholstery nozzle. Use like that on your upholstery and your curtains. But you've also got a brush that pulls out for your dusting, you do your Venetian blinds, dusty shelves, etc. That's your mains adapter that we can, I think we can possibly, or can we, I'll check. 
sometimes you can charge the battery out of the machine but on this particular model it doesn't look like you can you do have to put it in the machine and then plug the machine in to charge the battery um, we've got this I think that possibly belongs to the wall mount and then finally I think we've got all the instructions yep that's it we've got uh, the instructions in the bottom of the box okay let's have a closer look at this Bosch cordless cleaner so this is the cleaner itself it's fairly lightweight but then I haven't slotted in the battery yet and the battery hasn't got a full charge so it will need a full charge before first use and it will take approximately four hours to fully charge the battery for the first time just slots in to here just below the handle let's make sure it's in there we go it's clicked into position and now we can charge it via the storage slash uh, charging bracket or plugging it directly in and there's a port here just on the underside when you first turn the cleaner on it will show you the battery status via a light here when it goes red it's time to charge if it's white they're still charging the battery but there's no other as far as I can see any way of telling how full the battery is it's either white or red let's just switch on initially as I said this might have a bit of charge in it but it will need a full charge before first use When I pressed the turbo button, the battery light started to flash, so it obviously does need a full charge before first use. But what I did notice on the brief switch on, this machine is pretty quiet, even in turbo. I'll put this machine to one side, I'll leave it for up to four hours. What will happen, this light will illuminate when it's plugged in, and it'll turn white when it's fully charged, but that light will eventually turn off to conserve energy. So once you charge the machine and you come back to it if the lights off it normally means that it's taken the full charge so that's what I'm going to do plug in the adapter obviously if you're watching this in another country you'll get the adapter suitable for your outlet this is a three pin one because I live in the UK let's just unravel the mains cable which looks to be I would say that's about a meter in length and I'll plug this into the socket and then plug the jack into the hole on the underside of the cleaner. Just before I put this Bosch Pro Animal to the test on carpets and hard floors, I'm just going to measure the sealed suction of this cleaner in its regular and turbo mode. And for that, I need my suction gauge. As a rough guide, a mains powered cylinder vacuum will measure around 80 on the gauge. So let's see what this cordless Bosch does. It's gonna to have to use this adapter in order to provide a tighter seal I think uh, that way around okay so the first rating we'll see is the Bosch on its regular suction followed by turbo On the regular setting, this Bosch measured just under 20 and around 42 on the turbo setting. I've put down some dirt on this carpet, which consists of red lentils, some black rice, there's some rolled oats, there's some fluff and hair, little bits of gold glitter left over from another vacuum demonstration. And there's also some fine dust here. I've just basically taken a load of muck from another vacuum cleaner, a mains powered vacuum cleaner that I've recently demonstrated and uh, put it back on the carpet here. So I'm going to test the Bosch, firstly on its regular setting, which will give you the maximum run time. This side forward and back on regular, and then this side forward and back on the turbo mode. So 
So that was on regular. I must say this Bosch is very, very quiet. You could hardly hear the floor head going. I had to check that the brushes were rotating. So yes, on the surface, looks pretty good. We'll have a closer look in a minute. Now I'm going to use the turbo mode. Well, surprisingly, there's not a lot in it. Looking closer though, on the regular setting, there's a bit of blue sand as well in this dirt. And I can see close up, there's some blue sand left in the carpet. A few bits of glitter as well. On the turbo side, yes, there are a few particles showing. And yes, when I move the pile with my hand, I can see some bits bouncing up, which includes the blue sand, a little bit of glitter. But yes, all in all, the turbo did slightly better, but not hugely better. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean up the rest of this. I'm going to clean up everything on the regular setting and then just finish off with the turbo mode, just to make sure it's as clean as I can get it. I'm pretty pleased with that result, especially since I've gone way, way over the max fill line. We might get some debris spilt out when I take the wand off. Oh, yes, as you can see, a bit of a shake and we've got some dirt coming out, but it's hardly surprising folks because <laughs> I have absolutely gone way, way above. This is full to capacity now, absolutely shocker block. So it was a bit of an extreme amount of dirt. Little cordless machines with small capacities aren't supposed to pick up big amounts of dirt like a full-size mains powered vacuum, but I just wanted to see if it would still work. And yes, it was struggling towards the end, I have to admit, but you know, everything was picked up. Let's have a look at the dirt, shall we? There you go, that's everything I've just tipped out of the Bosch. I expect we're going to see a bit of dirt around this washable filter. Let's take off the mesh shroud. But that isn't horrendous. That isn't too bad. Bear in mind, normally 
a cordless machine like this isn't designed to pick up a lot of dirt in one go. I mean, this sort of dirt, you'd expect to find this amount spread across the whole house, depending on the size of your house, of course. You wouldn't expect to find such a concentrated amount of dirt in a small area. But obviously to show you a vacuum cleaner working, that's what I tend to do. So it's not too bad. There is fine dust on the pleated filter, but it is washable. You can tap it normally outside, of course, over your bin. Lots of fine dust is coming off it. But considering what I gave this machine to do, that's not a bad result at all. Well, because this is a pet model, I, it would be a miss of me not to show you it cleaning up pet hair. So let's get some pet hair and try out the Bosch. I've harvested some pet hair for my dog Daisy. So we're going to try out the Pro Animal brush, the small one and the main floor nozzle as well. Now we do have two separate brushes. I think these are just spare. I mean, they are a different color, but I can't see really any difference between these brushes and the ones fitted. They're just as soft and as dense. But, well, I might as well put the brushes in. Obviously, you're not going to want to keep changing the brushes every time you want to pick pet hair up. You'll just stick to one or the other. Mm, possibly, these brushes are ever so slightly denser for the red brush. So I will put them in. They are very easy, easy to fit. There we go, that was a quick job. And I might as well, while we're at it, we'll change the brush roll over on the larger head. As you can see from the initial demonstration, it's not anti-hair wrap. That is all wrapped around the brush roll, but it is easy to pull out, which it has to be because you need to clean that. You need to get a pair of scissors or a knife and cut through all this hair that's wrapped around. So I wonder if it's going to still wrap around this one. I expect it will. They do look the same apart from the colour of the bristles, but we'll slot them in anyway. You might find just you're just going to leave these brushes in and not bother with the ones that were fitted. But anyway, I'll start off actually with a small pro animal brush. Not really suitable for large areas of carpet, but it is good for your stair carpets, your upholstery, pet bedding, possibly your car. So we'll just uh, check that works. And you can see when I press the turbo button, Apart from the suction increasing, the speed of the brush is increased as well. I'm just going to try it first. I'll try and divide this up into four strips. So I'll do one forward and backward pass using this nozzle on low setting and then one on turbo. And uh, well, I'm not sure. I don't think I've got enough pet hair to do two passes of the large nozzle. I'll see if I can spread it out. Well, not too bad. Seems to have picked most of the hair up actually in that pass. Okay, we'll do this bit here now, but on the turbo setting. <laughs> Surprisingly, although, yes, you could definitely hear a bit more oomph there was, I could hear the brush roll rotating more and there's more suction. It actually drew the hairs back on the reverse pass. Let's try doing that again. We'll do it on the low setting. So I, strangely, it's picked up the hair on the low setting. I've just noticed I've missed a bit. I don't want you writing in. So, on low, it seemed to pick up Daisy's hair pretty well. On high, although there was certainly a bit more oomph about it, it, it sort of dragged the hair back. But high might be better for, say, car mats where you've got a bit of ingrained mud. 
you might want to click the turbo button. Okay, so that's the Pro Animal brush. Now I'll attach the larger carpet and floor nozzle. And again, we'll try it first on low setting on one side and then high setting. Pretty much a clean sweep on low. Well, let's have a closer look. Yeah, oh no, hang on. <laughs> if I press down hard, can you see that? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's there's definitely some hair left. Right, again, that is very odd. On turbo, it seems to have left more hair even before I start rubbing. Yeah, rubbing hard is revealing more pet hair. That's bizarre. So I would say probably on minimum it seems to do almost as well, or just equally well, or even slightly better than it does on turbo mode, which is uh, not at all the result I was expecting. Well, I've got to pick all the rest of this hair up, so I'm going to use the big pro animal brush first on the low setting to see if we can remove everything, and then I might just boost it just for a final clean. Well, after that demonstration, I think the pet hair pickup is a bit mediocre considering this is called a pro animal. I have tested other cordless machines that do far better on picking up pet hair, but I think after a few goes, now it's still revealing little bits when I push down on the carpet, might take a few more passes. Obviously it was a lot to pick up in one go, but, uh, we can see there the hair and some dust. I did clean the filter out and empty the bin after I did the first demo. But look, apart from Daisy's hair, there is dust in here. But I don't think it's the best at cleaning up pet hair, to be honest. Let's have a look at the underside of the pet hair brushes. Well, as you can see, even after just a small amount of cleaning, you will have to, from time to time, pick out the pet hair from these brushes. And let's have a look at the, the larger one. Ah, oh, dearie me. That isn't good, is it? Look at that. Clearly, it's an extreme demonstration. But, hmm. Wow, that, that is pretty bad. I thought I'd picked up more hair than that. Look at this. So despite the fact this Pro Animal Cleaner is designed for pet hair, you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time picking off the hair off the brushes. I know Bosch do some newer versions of their cordless machines that seem to have a beefier looking power head. I might look into getting one of those at some point, 
maybe that will have an anti-hair wrap because most manufacturers are now starting to introduce some sort of anti-tangle, anti-hair wrap brush rolls like Shark, even Dyson, Hoover, many other manufacturers are now doing that. I mean, it didn't take me long to pick it off, but that's something you've got to bear in mind when you've got pets that shed hair you want it inside the vacuum bag or inside the container. You don't want it wrapped around the brush roll, which unfortunately, in the case of this Bosch, that's exactly what happened. Right, well, we've done pet hair, we've done general pickup on a carpet. The final demo I'm going to do in this video is pick up from a hard floor. A vacuum cleaner would be pretty poor if it couldn't pick up dirt from a hard surface. So let's hope that this dirt I've put down on this ceramic tiled floor will be gobbled up with this Bosch Pro Animal. I've swapped the brush over for the regular black one and I'm going to try clean up everything using the low speed because you really shouldn't need a turbo or high speed suction power for a hard floor. It's not like embedded dirt on a carpet, a hard floor should be relatively easy to clean. Well, the proof of the pudding is in the eating as they say, so let's start this demo. Not a bad result at all for the Bosch on this ceramic floor, although I noticed in between the grout lines some of the fine dust and sand was still there after one pass, but after a couple of passes it did manage to get all the sand from in between the grout lines, even on the low power setting. So what are the pros and cons of the Bosch Unlimited Serie 6 Pro Animal? One of the pros is it's pretty lightweight and compact and very quiet on its regular setting. Obviously it's noisier when you use the turbo mode, but for general day-to-day -day cleaning, if you want a quiet vacuum cleaner, the Bosch is very, very quiet. I also like the fact it's got a removable battery and also it uses the standard Bosch power for all battery. So if you've got Bosch power tools that use the same battery, you can interchange them with the battery on this vacuum cleaner. Pretty small capacity for this Bosch. You do have to empty it on a regular basis, well, every time you use it. And unlike many other cleaners, it's a little bit messy to empty. You have to take this out to your bin, then pull the filter out and then tip it out. There's no button to press, no flap that opens like many cordless machines. So yeah, bit inconvenient for emptying. As you saw earlier, if you've got pet hair, you do have to clean the brushes of both the large and the small nozzles. I like the fact though that it comes with a spare set of brushes. That's always handy. And I didn't show you this in action, but this flexible crevice tool would be ideal for going down the sides of your chairs, in your car, etc. And of course, for general use, you can do your upholstery. If you didn't, don't need the powered nozzle, you can do your upholstery and curtains using this nozzle and your above floor dusting with the brush extended like so. And it's quite a nice soft brush. So that's good. But all in all, I don't think I would necessarily recommend this unless you can get it at a good price. It's quality, it's made in Germany, surprisingly. Most of these types of cleaners are made in China, but uh, this Bosch is made in Germany. There we go. Takes a knack to get used to 
putting that on. Once you've done it a few times, there we go, it's fine. Oh, before I go, let's have a look at the filter because we have <laughs> given this Bosch rather a lot to pick up and I suspect the filter will be pretty dirty. So let's remove it. And there you go, that's all the dirt I've just picked up from the hard floor demo. I must say though, hmm, again it's not bad. Considering the amount of dirt I've picked up during the course of this demo, that isn't bad to be honest. If I was to use this on a regular basis around my home, I think once a month should be enough to keep the filter clean if you need to wash it, but it will tap clean a lot of the fine dust. And this is what this filter is trapping mostly, as you can see. It's the very fine dust. Most of the larger debris in the hair is obviously staying in the bin or any pet hair could stay wrapped around this mesh shroud. Again, that's washable as well. You can just rinse that in water. I wouldn't carry on washing this every month. As long as you keep it clean, as long as you tap it on the side of your outside bin, preferably, or if you've got a mains powered vacuum to hand, you could attach the crevice tool to that and just use the suction of your mains powered machine to clean the filter. Because if you keep washing it, I think it's going to reduce efficiency. You could buy spare filters, of course, to have one spare while the other one is drying. But yes, as you can see, the filter has trapped a lot of this fine dust. And if you don't clean it on a regular basis, this fine dust will eventually clog the filter and you're going to get reduced suction power. Well, that's about the end of my video on the Bosch Unlimited Series 6 Pro Animal Cordless Cleaner. At the time of making this video, my current recommendation, if you're looking for a good cordless machine, would be the Shark Stratos, or if you're looking for something a bit cheaper, I would recommend the Dyson V8, just the base model. The V8 is about as light as this, but it uh, picks up a lot better. But if you want the best cleaning performance on carpets and hard floors, I would look at the Shark Stratos. It is heavier and noisier than this machine, but overall it is a very good cordless vacuum. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this Bosch cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.